now we will talk about the effects of burning of fuels ok. Now we will talk about the effects of burning of fuels ok. Now what happen when the fuels are overused ok. Now we all know these fuels are responsible for uh, you know they create they this like pollution is increasing day by day because of the use of these fossil fuels ok. So now what should be our heading effects of burning of fuels ok. So, this is our heading effects of burning of fuels ok. So, first of all what happen when we use fossil fuels because of use of fossil fuels many gases you know uh, are released many gases are released. Now, which kind of gases are released children they like may be carbon dioxide ok, may be carbon monoxide ok, sulphur dioxide and even suspended particles ok, suspended particles all these comes into it like it becomes the part of the atmosphere ok. What we are talking about? We are talking about effects of burning of fuels ok. Now here we are talking we are saying that when the fuels are used ok. So, what happen many gases and unburned hydrocarbon becomes the part of the nature ok. So, what are those may be carbon dioxide may be carbon monoxide, sulphur dioxide, oxide of nitrogens ok. Then suspended particle I can even write soot ok. So, what all these are like you can see the particles flying even you know sometimes it is not visible, but then it can be seen how it can be observed like the clothes which we wear become little bit blackish ok it get deposited on our body it get deposited on the clothes also. So, these kind of particles are known as suspended particulate ok suspended particulate meta it will come here really suspended particular particulate matter ok. So, what it is these are the particles which can be seen uh, or even when if it is not seen this can be uh, like you know it the effects can be uh, observed ok. Now, what happen when such kind of things comes into the atmosphere what happens when these kind of things become the part of the nature. So, children we will talk about all these one by one because you know all these effects atmosphere adversely all these effects are health also all these effects living things and non living things. So, we will talk about this first of all how does all these comes into existence Maybe because now we are talking about the fuels. So, the when the fuels are used in different vehicles all these fuels get emitted and then it is all these are responsible for creating for spoiling our what atmosphere. So, first of all we will talk about what first of all we will talk about carbon dioxide. Okay. So, first of all we are talking about carbon dioxide. Now, what is carbon dioxide like? See when the fuel when the fuels uh, burn carbon dioxide comes it get released out. 
Now, see children, for our existence on the surface of the earth also, carbon dioxide is very, very important. Not only for the simple reason that the plants use carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis. There is one more use apart from that. What is that use children? Carbon dioxide has a property to trap the heat. Okay? Carbon dioxide traps, it absorbs the heat and it do not allow the heat to go to the, it do not release it into the atmosphere. When carbon dioxide absorbs the heat, you know what happens? The temperature of the earth remains, you know, it becomes sustainable for the life. Okay, life becomes sustainable and there is no like, you know, not a big difference between the temperature at day time and in night. You know, uh, you know uh, if we uh, think for a moment that carbon dioxide is not there. Apart from that, that it is very, very useful for photosynthesis. Okay, forget that for one minute. That carbon dioxide is important because of the what photosynthesis process. Okay, just the other thing what I am talking about, please pay attention on that. If carbon dioxide will uh, uh, not be there, what will happen children? There will be a big difference between the temperature of day and night because at day time sun's heat will be there to keep us warm, but at night nothing will be there. Okay, so sun won't be there and the temperature will change drastically. But as carbon dioxide traps the heat, it absorbs the heat. And so our uh, climate remains what the, it, the temperature remains, it remains soothing for us, okay. It becomes sustainable for us. So now, this is one property of carbon dioxide. What is that property? It traps, it traps the heat or absorbs the heat and do not release it into or do not allow it to be released okay into atmosphere, it into atmosphere. Okay. Now, this is known as what, what it is known as, it is known as greenhouse effect. This is, this is known as greenhouse effect. Okay, this what this when the gases traps, okay, which kind of gases? See, when carbon dioxide traps the heat, when it absorbs the heat, then what happens? It is known as what? Greenhouse effect. This property is known as greenhouse effect. Now, the gases which absorbs the heat, okay, the gases The gases which absorbs the heat is are, are called as green house gases. Okay, so this is the first point of carbon dioxide. Now this is the second point of carbon dioxide. The gases which absorbs heat are known as greenhouse gases. Now what are the gases? Which gases are there? Carbon dioxide is there, methane is there. Okay, now there are few more gases but these two are the major gases of greenhouse. Okay, what effect? Now, what these gases do children, when these gases absorb the temperature, uh, I am so sorry, heat, 
when these gases absorb the heat, when these gases do not release the heat into the atmosphere, when these gases trap the heat on the surface of the earth, what happens due to due to greenhouse gases, the temperature the temperature of the earth get increased okay get increased now what happens when the temperature of the earth increase this increase in temperature is known as what children so this when the greenhouse gases absorbs the heat and do not release it into atmosphere the temperature of the earth get increased which is known as global warming so this increase in the temperature of the earth is called as global warming okay this increase in the temperature of the earth is known as global warming now what will happen children if the temperature of the earth will increase even if the temperature of the earth increases by 2 degrees celsius what will happen you know the ice which is there the glaciers which are present there on the surface on the polar regions all those will melt so what will happen when those glaciers will melt due to the melting of the glaciers the sea level will increase and the the areas which are there on this uh, near the sea will uh, what will get submerged into the sea so the next point is what children due to global warming the ice of the polar areas melts will melt or the sea due to global warming the ice of the polar areas will melt will melt ok and the earth like the level of the sea will increase ok so which will increase the sea level ok which will which will increase the sea level ok and the mini part of the, the you know the area which is near the sea will be submerged into where in the sea so this is so disastrous just imagine if the fossil fuels are used more if the amount of you know gases which kind of gases global house uh, I am so sorry global house I am saying greenhouse effect gases get increased what will happen it will give rise to global warming ok so just have a, a quick uh, we will have a quick recap we are talking about the effects of burning of fuels in this first one is what the first one is carbon dioxide like I am saying when the fuels are used on the greater extent so carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide suspended particulate matter so all these come uh, becomes a part of the atmosphere so now what happens when this becomes a part of the atmosphere when we talk about carbon dioxide what happens it traps the atmosphere uh, it traps the sunlight it keeps the light on the surface of the earth and do not heat i am talking about a uh, not light and do not allow it to 
be released into the atmosphere due to what due to which what happen children like this the what will happen the self the temperature of the earth will increase now the gases which are responsible for trapping the heat the gases which are responsible for absorbing heat are known as greenhouse gases and this increase in the temperature of the surface of the earth is known as global warming and due to global warming the surf the earth will the existence our existence uh, like will be in danger okay so this is the first thing which we are talking about and just see the disastrous effect of the only one i am talking about just one we have discussed now next one i'll be talking about carbon monoxide okay now we will talk about the second gas okay before this we have discussed about the carbon dioxide now we'll talk about carbon monoxide okay carbon monoxide what is the effect of carbon monoxide you know the effect of carbon monoxide is also known as carbon monoxide poisoning okay what it is known as carbon mono oxide poisoning okay it is known as carbon monoxide poisoning now what happen children like when the in the body the blood flows how does it flows because of the hem group like the uh, it combines okay it combines with what oxygen and oxyhemoglobin is formed okay what is formed children oxyhemoglobin is formed oxyhemoglobin is formed now it carries oxygen okay means oxygen is combined now oxygen reaches to the different parts of the body but in presence of carbon monoxide you know actually what happened children oxygen combines with this but when carbon monoxide is there this group has more affinity towards the carbon monoxide in comparison to the oxygen means see suppose i uh, keep two things in front of you two options your mother gives two options to you like either you can go by the bicycle or even you can use the best bike whichever you like okay obviously you are going to use the bike isn't it so that is the same case like hem group combines with oxygen and it is transported in whole body but when carbon monoxide is there it combines with what carbon monoxide rather than in combining with carbon what rather than combining with oxygen so when it combines with carbon monoxide this oxyhemoglobin is not formed okay this oxyhemoglobin doesn't forms and then what is formed children okay now see oxyhemoglobin is not formed and carboxyhemoglobin okay carboxyhemoglobin is formed now this is formed now when carboxyhemoglobin is formed it that means what is happening now oxygen is not combined and as oxygen is not combined so oxygen won't be transported in the body rather carbon monoxide is reaching in our body and this carbon monoxide is very very poisonous and thus in absence of oxygen okay in absence of oxygen the person suffocates he feels suffocated and even it can be in the extreme case, cases okay it can be one of the reason of the death of the person so what is carbon monoxide doing children it is affecting the health of a person in what way which way that it do not allow the oxygen to combine with the hem uh, hemoglobin or then uh, hem group is combining with what carbon monoxide as it has got what better affinity 
towards carbon monoxide rather than with what oxygen and so oxyhemoglobin is not formed rather carboxyhemoglobin is formed and thus the oxygen is not transported to the body and the person what happens there is now insufficient amount okay when the, now there is sufficient amount of oxygen is not there in the body and you all know now there is no need for me to explain that what happens that when the body do, do not get sufficient amount of oxygen and the person now what will the, it, it can be really fatal okay so this was about the second point carbon monoxide the first one was what carbon dioxide now we will talk about the third point we will talk about the gases like sulfur dioxide okay nitrogen dioxide now we will talk about these gases now how these gases are uh, like how these gases becomes the part of the nature and how does this gases affect the uh, effect our life how like what is the effect of such kind of gases so you know when the fossil fuels like coal petrol all these are burned gases are released now in this gases such kind of gases also are released now we know uh, oxides all the oxides when the oxides are released okay these oxides uh, you will read this in detail in metal and non metal chapter that when oxides okay when they reacts or when they dissolve when they come in presence of water they get dissolved okay these oxides get dissolved in water and what is formed acids are formed now what is uh, the uh, reason like what happens when what are the effects of acids so first of all i am talking about the gases these gases are released due to the burning of the fossil fuels now when these fossil fuels are burned the gases are released these gases comes the and it becomes the part of the atmosphere now when these gases becomes the part of the atmosphere that means they are, they are there in the higher in the atmosphere when it rains okay when it rains it get dissolved who get dissolved children these oxides get dissolved in the rain water and obviously it will come down okay so it get dissolved in the rain water and it comes down on the surface of the earth in the form of the acid rain okay so this is what this is known as acid rain so first of all write the definition of this now when fossil fuels are burned these harmful gases are released okay these harmful gases are released now what can be the second point children these oxides these oxides get dissolved in the atmosphere these gases get dissolved in the what in the atmosphere means what in the atmospheric water or you can even write you can remove this and you can write rain in the this oxides get dissolved in the rain water and acids are formed and acids are formed okay and this is the way how acids are formed and these falls on the 
surface of the earth as as what does it fall children it falls as acid rain ok so this is what acid rain is that means when these oxides are there in the atmosphere they get dissolved in rain water and come down on the surface of the earth and then acid rain is formed. Now this acid rain is very disastrous what are the effects of acid rain children these acid rain it it spoils the monuments and statues ok it spoils the it spoils the fertility of the soil ok it kills the aquatic life ok what are the effects children see this is how acid rain is formed and see the danger is the disastrous effects it spoils the monuments and the statues you know the Agra the, ta, uh, the city Agra ok uh, we all know the Taj Mahal the famous Taj Mahal is located in the city Agra it is made up of white marble which is turning now yellow just because of the pollution ok statues get corroded you know it, it has a very corrosive nature obviously it will have corrosive nature because it what acid rain is what a mild acid only now it spoils the fertility of the soil how does it spoil the fertility of the soil children because it increases the fertility what increases the acidity ok like acidic nature ok if I talk about acidity if I say acidity we will we'll just think about the acidity of the stomach so rather to say that it increases the acidic nature of the soil it burns the uh, nutrients of the soil it burns the standing crop ok now it also kills the aquatic life you know there are many species which are not uh, uh, now like they are they do not exist now they are extinct why because they are the uh, like because of the acid rain the species were you know affected so badly adversely that it does not ex like it is not there into the like the existence is only not there ok so these are the effects of the acid rain these are so dreadful and so dangerous ok so this was the third point acid rain which occurs due to the gases which kind of gases all the oxides ok which get released due to the burning of the fossil fuels when the fossil fuels are burned what happen children the oxides get dissolved into the rain water it comes down on the surface of the earth in the form of the acid rain and this as this acid rain it spoils the fertility of soil it burns the, it burns the nutrients it kills the aquatic life ok so this was about the acid rain this was about the gases now next we will talk about the next, next effect ok now the last part of this topic the effects of what fossil fuels is effect on our health ok. So how does it affects our health children these are what these are means what fossil fuels ok effects of burning fuels. So this fossil fuels ok these uh, fossil fuels uh, you know release certain Substance, uh, certain substances like maybe gas, maybe suspended particulate matter, which is very very harmful. Okay, so what happened? These are responsible means for these means for fossil fuels are responsible. 
for the diseases okay which kind of diseases you know if a person continuously remains in unhealth like you know the, the polluted atmosphere what can happen children the person will have many various kinds of respiratory diseases okay so this is the last part of this that these are means what fossil fuels are these are responsible for what for the what for various kind of diseases now which kind of diseases children may be bronchitis okay may be bronchitis may be other respiratory diseases okay other respiratory diseases may be sometimes you know skin diseases skin diseases few cancers are also the you know uh, like the the few cancers also came into existence is because of these uh, pollution okay this pollution means the pollution which is which is caused by the fuels so cancer few cancers okay i should write few cancers so all these are the effect of the burning of the fossil fuels first we read the effect of carbon dioxide which leads to what global warming then second we read about the carbon monoxide and about the carbon monoxide poisoning that how does it combines with him and do not allow the oxygen to be transported uh, in the body then third one we studied about how uh, the gases uh, the oxides are released which are responsible for the acid rain and the last one is how these are responsible for various kind of diseases in humans like respiratory diseases may bronchitis and even few skin diseases may be cancer all these uh, are you know just because of the pollution so now we'll talk about next topic okay so what is our next topic children 